So now I'm taking my five and one and putting some rocks and stones into the mix to kind of contrast some of the some of the um, the way I've done the roller. As you can see, I have rolled out some green, and now I am trying to um, you know put a uh, a ground texture to some of it. Like that looks like a tree line to me. So if that's a little tree line, then you should have you know a little bit of um, brown right along there you know, um, to accentuate that that's the end of that tree line and then the next tree line starts down below it. Pretty cool, I'm having fun. Well, it didn't come out too good. So I am going to save the upper half, which looks very nice, and put a dark gray down here to match the gray in the hallway. What do you think? I think that'll work. It just got too busy and too big and unrealistic. The top looks good. So now, um, let's see if I can do this more efficiently. So this is the end section I've been working on. And I was I got this tree here and the mountains behind it. And I brought the mountains all the way down the side like they would be. And then that would bring this, this canopy of trees here is going to go off in the distance and kind of curl in and show the trees from the mountain right there. Um, and I had this idea of the trees and the trunks. And then I thought, well, you know, I'm gonna put like a cliff right here, a drop off. So I made a drop off, a cliff here. And, and imagine that it runs about a hundred yards from in the distance, across here, across here, and then up into the foreground. Now I, I got to here, I didn't know what to do. So I dropped it down and I ran it along here to bring it and to have it make sense so that this could be a grassy area. And then this would be a cliff that drops off and then the mountains in the distance, right? But then all of a sudden, with a little slip and a mark here and here, all of a sudden it turned into a stump. And I saw an old gray wooden wood stump here and another one here and maybe some grass in between here and, and like, or stones. And then, then I saw that this is the shade, this here is the shade of the tree. And this is going to turn into grass. I'm gonna make this grass over here and this grass is going to fade into the distance up to about here and that makes sense because then the mountain would stop here and go off off the picture here this down to here would be the grass and this would be grass under here but it's darker and and um this is part of the canopy this is part of the canopy but this i'm going to bring the like a couple of the mountain trees in here right right here at the cutoff will will do something right here because see here it is again you almost like there's a a little green green field or part of the green coming down here and i'm telling you what it's so exciting so now i see a stone instead of a cliff so instead of this being like a 150 yard long cliff that drops out of sight and then this is way distance this is a tree stump and a tree stump and then some stones and then this grass here and this grass here now over here this tree came down to here and it was going to be a short little tree in the distance but I, I thought, but I thought that I have to share the light of this tree over to here. I have to, so, so I took the tree that was this tall and pulled the trunk down to here and it jumped out of the picture. Now it jumped out to here and I put the roots on it. And then I was able to build another branch here that's going off this way. And I mean, look at this branch. Look at that. I didn't try to do that. Does that look real? Does that look like there's sunshine coming down through the canopy onto a branch? Is that awesome? That's unbelievable. I don't even know how that happens. And uh, and then this, this is the trunk. Look at this trunk. Oh, I meant to, I meant to wipe up that green. There we go, just wipe that out, just, just slightly. Okay, and, and, oh, and this tree, this tree was taller. It was stopping right here, but I widened it and brought it down into the grass here and Oh my goodness, this is insane. Uh, ah. 
Isn't that amazing? I mean, look, look at those branches back in there. And look at the canopy of the tree and the darkness of the tree. It's amazing. I, I, I just don't know. Look, it's, oh, look at that. Isn't that something? And over here, look at my pine trees. Look at this pine tree. Look at those. Look at them standing there in front of a distant field. Wow. And over here, I lightened that up a little bit so it wouldn't look so weird. And uh, I, when I wiped it with a wet cloth to get off a mistake, it darkened it and deepened it. So I thought, oh my goodness, two clear coats is really going to do something awesome with this with this thing. And right there is the is the other cliff that I did, just a little drop off cliff with a log, old rotten log, laying across the top. Didn't even try to do that. It just happened. Is that awesome or what? I am so excited. Now, this will be the last challenge. I don't know what to do with this. <laughs> I don't know what to do. What am I going to do with a big field like that? We've got the mountains. we got the thing. got this coming. got these trees over here. Oh, my goodness. Praise God. All right, here we are at the campground. Working on the main, main uh, painting again. Really enjoyed myself yesterday. Updated that stump. Gave it a much more realistic look with weeds and trash around it. Well, flowers. And then look at this mountain background. Much better, much better. Shadows and trees and everything there. Great. So then we came down here, made a little valley, and then I built some trees. Now, these trees started out to be the ones in the background here. And I thought, nope, we need to bring them forward. So all you have to do is drop them below the, the, the drop them below the, the paint line, and all of a sudden, boom, there they are. And I've been touching them and darkening and putting little spots on them and things like that and uh, it's not as you can see stripes colors whisks of a brush now all of a sudden and then still behind it there's other trees okay and i added a little bit of knowledge to that one just to help it a little and those in the background there look really good already so here we are now after i have built the trunks front and back side of the trunks, brought this up here. Now I'm starting to do branches and leaves. And uh, what I'm doing is I'm taking the, uh, the gray green, adding some black to it, adding black to it to give me the, the background, the other side of the tree leaves. As you can see, that's working quite well. And of course, you know, you leave your open spot. Look at that nice open spot there, right into the distance. That keeps you, that keeps you current, that keeps you great. Now, I've got a little problem here with a branch. Like this branch right here is too thick right there. So we'll do something with that. I'm not sure what, but if we, um, if we tap behind it on the underneath side, we should be able to narrow that wood a little bit, cause that branch to look better. I'm not exactly sure how to do that. taking sun from the other side. We're gonna put a piece there and a little there. I know I hate going over my paint with other paint, but it seems to really help. And then we're gonna just maybe pick up a little bit more right here, up at the top. Um, because you can't have a really wide trunk here and no tree up here. If it's that wide there, then it has to narrow down naturally because you're assigning your brain the project of doing that so your brain wants to know um, so we're gonna dab a little black and I touch it I will get a shadowy a more shadowy look to my situation and um, because I'm gonna go over this again oh boy look at that boy and that's something so this is looking very good, very realistic. Um, I want to do more, <laughs> but uh, there's, a, there's a point when you have to stop. You know, you've got to stop and say, all right, that's good. You want to just cover enough to make it look the way it looks. All right, now we're going to try out and mix some lighter colors and see what kind of leaves we're going to put on here. This is the, the shadow side of the tree. Now let's do the lighter. Tree line down there and a falling rock. This
just look like rocks here, like a rock face. So I broke some rock face here and made an area here, trees here. Just all of a sudden that all developed. Pretty cool. And then I, I did this little, like the trees look a little knocked down, rolled over right here, down into the valley. So now the big tree is dry and we have improved the roots a little bit and uh, improved the darks and lights a little bit. And that is tapping in our lighter color green. I'm not having, I'm not having the success yet that I want. So I'm thinking that uh, I'm missing something. So instead of going with the green and black and making a gray, I'm going to tap in a little bit of brown and see if I can't get a brownish green, uh, get the color that I'm looking for that's a little brighter. And um, your guess is as good as mine. Yeah, that looks like that's doing what I want. Yeah, a little brown, a little green mixed together. All right, let's see what happens. inexperienced on how to use it, how much paint to put on it. It uh, just is not working with the water-based acrylics. I'll have to find out if that's why, because this is for oil. But anyway, so I have switched over to the fan brush. As you can see, my tree is developing nicely. And, and then just using half of the brush, not a lot of it, just barely touching it. I've been working in, working in my leaves and bringing them down. And of course, you know, I'm going to take out the yellow as I move across the tree, turn this over. You can see how that's working. All right, so we get real close. Ooh, that's better. Now you can really see. Just barely touching. Just barely touching. Turn the brush over. Just barely touching. Look at that. <laughs> Is that cool or what? So we're bringing down the sunshine inside of the tree now. Now over here, of course, we're going to use less yellow, make it a little bit darker. But of course, up here, excuse my bandaged finger, get in the way there. You see that little dark spot right there? Oh, awesome. Yeah, we're just catching the light. Catching the light. Oh, oh, careful. Careful. Now, let's say, okay, look at that big old goop right there, all right? So, what you do is you keep your little towel handy. I don't know if you can do this with acrylic, or with oil, the way you can with acrylics, but I can just touch that, see? I can just touch that real quick with my towel. Let's see how that blended that in and toned it down. See, and then, and see, I can actually go right under here, see? Let's do that again and show you how that happened again. So just touch that real quick, see? And then that's showing us the inside of the tree. And, oh boy, look at that. brightness here pretty strong so we should probably bring some brightness right here to balance that but this we're going to leave in the shade look at that see that shade's already there for us so we're going to bring this down further like right through here show a little bit more sunshine through here and um, talk to you later I had a little trouble with that branch we're trying to make a broken branch not very good at a broken branch We did improve those two back trees quite a bit. They look much better. Put some more shade over there. Uh, more shade back in here. Light light areas and shades back in there. We did the grass here and here. Um, that looks much better. Much better. Mountains look good. Just trying to figure out how to do a broken branch. Distance looks good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Thank you. 
Okay, you saw the slow-mo time-lapse. And I did not know what to do. All I had was this big, long, gray thing. I tried to make a misty mountain thing and it turned into a cement road. But I got my mountain. I got my mountain exactly the way I wanted it. Much better. So now that ends good. This is good. And we were going to put a lake down here at the bottom somehow. We're keeping those rocks. Everybody likes them rocks. So we decided to do some kind of a wall or something coming out of the distance. Now, I, I knew it wasn't going to be a river. I thought a road, a path, a dirt road. I tried making a dirt road. And then uh, I put some paint on there and I thought, oh, you know what? That looks a little bit like cement. So maybe I should do a cement road. Well, it was... Um, not working out until I got right here and then right here all, uh, I did those trees are new right there I'll have to fancy them up a little bit more with some more color to match these uh, but my cement road turned into this big humongous thing that was not gonna work so then what happened was I thought oh my goodness this road looks like a cement river it's not really working so I built a little green wall here I was actually just doing an accent in the field and I carried it over and it was under the road and I took it up to the road and all of a sudden there it was, a cutout in the mountain. So then when I realized I was dealing with a cutout in the mountain, I did this and I built a, a road with one of those dirt things underneath it where the gravel comes down. And then I was right here when I realized I hadn't shown you. So I thought, oh, I better show them what I'm doing. So I'm pulling down here like this, then turning the handle this way to make the road turn. Now, I've already done one tour of, of, of black, so uh, brown. So now I'm doing the black here and here. Oh, and I also made little guardrails. See my little guardrails? so that I can put a little, I can go like that, you know, make little posts. One more time. I'm gonna build up the forest now as I bring this down. So this is brown and black, gray road, I darkened where the pavement's gonna be. And then um, kind of, you know, make extra little rocks. Kind of pull this down. This is as far as I can go for today, yeah. maybe do something, you know, another little contrast, see if we can't, so like, since this one is facing more that direction, put a little bit more on there, and you know, if I don't like it, like if that's too much, because I like the idea of, you know, it could be a man-made gravel, and more gray like that. Um, if I don't like it, I just clean off a thing and dab it in the black. And let's pull some black over that again. That was a little bit too much. Boy, I like that. Try to keep with the lay of the land. And then back that way. Oh, that looks like that could be a tree or something. We might just put some trees in there. Hmm, won't that be interesting? So I'm going just below the guardrail and uh, pulling out some of that white that I dripped. Now here's a little problem is that we've got to make the viaduct, I think it's called a viaduct, the, the road cut out, flow into this stone and this area. So the width of the road oh i'm telling you that was an interesting thought because if the road is too wide then the cars are too big that travel on it which means it's too close so we have to keep it very far away which means it's going to be just a little ribbon of a road and i think it's too wide at the moment you'll have to think about that with me that's it for today
I said when I learned how to do the sky, I would come back. So here's the painting. Of course, I haven't touched it. But are you ready for this? Here's the sky. We have learned how to do sky. And look at that. <laughs> I've even mistakenly done distant clouds. Look at that. Isn't that something? So there you go. Add that to the, to the holster of things we can do. it up there and I touched it up there. Oh, look at the way that popped. Oh my goodness, look at that. Okay, I am officially done. I think at some point I will work on the sky as I get better and able to do so. I came up with a rather late idea for where the water goes and that idea was basically, I don't know. I was gonna have the creek cross and go out that side but it ended up being too high up and the lake, this, that, and it was like, you can't have water flowing uphill. <laughs> so I built a wall of rocks at the bottom. I didn't know what else to do. I finally got the grass pretty good and that, that shadow spot up there pretty good and the, everything else, so I'm very happy. All I gotta do now is figure out how to do the sky. I'm not very good at sky yet. That's it. Okay, I am officially done. I think at some point I will work on the sky as I get better and able to do so. I came up with a rather late idea for where the water goes and that idea was basically, I don't know. I was gonna have the creek cross and go out that side but it ended up being too high up and the lake, this, that, and it was like, you can't have water flowing uphill. <laughs> so I built a wall of rocks at the bottom. I didn't know what else to do. I finally got the grass pretty good and that, that shadow spot up there pretty good and the, everything else. So I'm very happy. All I gotta do now is figure out how to do the sky. I'm not very good at sky yet. That's it. Mm -hmm.